In this video, we are going to see about the parts of computer unit 7. Do we think it is easy to connect a sprawling planet to a point? If it is easy, then how could it be possible? The answer to these questions in today's world is computer. In this modern world computer eases the effort and the speeds up the process to the great extent. Nowadays the usage of computer plays an important role in every walk of a life. So it is apt time to learn about computer. It is necessary to note down that there are three key units in computer. Understanding these, it will make us to operate a computer in an easy way. Parts of computer The parts of computer is classified into three main units. They are input unit, central processing unit and output unit. Input unit the data and the commands which is given for the processing is called as input. The devices that are used to the input data is called as input devices. Few of the input devices are keyboard, mouse, joystick, web camera, scanner, etc. Output unit the output unit converts the command received by the computer into binary signals very easily in an understandable characters. Few examples are monitor, printer, speaker, etc. These are the examples of output devices. Central processing unit. The central processing unit is called as the brain of computer because it is used to process the data given to the computer. The CPU has mainly three parts, memory unit, arithmetic logic unit and the control unit. We have seen different kinds of input devices. A input unit helps to send data and the commands for processing. The devices which are used to give input to the computer, we call it as input devices. Few input devices which we use regularly in a day-to-day -day life are keyboard, mouse, scanner, barcode reader, microphone, light pen, joystick, etc. Let's see about keyboard. The keyboard is one of the most used input devices which is used to give the input to the keyboard. There are different kinds of keys in the keyboard but the most often used keys are alphabet keys and the number keys. Apart from the alphabet keys and the number keys, we also have functional keys, special keys, a space bar, a backspace, control keys, arrow keys, etc. The next most often used input device is mouse. A mouse is an essential part of a computer and it has two buttons and a scroll button at the middle. The two buttons are right button, left button and the middle it has a scroll bar. The mouse is used to move the pointer on the screen. The right button is used to select the file as well as the left button is used to do the corrections in the file. The pages on the screen, the files and the icon are moved up and down, front and back, or else even closed 
it is done by with the help of mouse few basic actions that are carried out by the mouse are click double click click and drag right click and move put your net converts the command received by the computer in the form of binary signal which can be easily understandable characters for the computer and a few output devices are monitor printer speaker scanner etc the most often used output device is monitor of the most output devices monitor has been the important output device because it is connected to the computer the monitor looks like a tv screen the input data given to the monitor it may be in the form of a picture an alphabet and cartoon a graphics etc there are two types of monitor namely cathode ray tube monitors crt thin film transistor monitors tft nowadays the computer systems have tft monitors as they require less space and they emit a less amount of heat central processing unit the cpu is a brain of computer and it is used to process the data the cpu has mainly three parts they are memory unit arithmetic logic unit and control unit the cpu plays the important role as it works as a processing unit the cpu receives the input and it makes all the processing by storing the contents or the data in the memory unit and after processing it displays with the help of the output device control unit the functions of all parts of the computer is controlled with the help of the control unit arithmetic logic unit the work of arithmetic logic unit alu is to perform mathematical calculations that is the basic arithmetical computations like addition subtraction multiplication and division the memory unit in the computer saves all the data and the information temporarily we can classify the memory unit into two types namely primary and secondary memory the memory can also be expanded externally with the help of compact disk pen drive hard disk etc the data stored in the computer are stored in binary values as zeros and ones and that particular data is measured in bit the memory unit is also responsible for providing space for storing data the area where the computer store something temporarily or permanently we'll call it as memory the hardware plays an important role for storing and retrieving the information from the memory unit a group of 4 bits we'll call it as a nibble a group of 8 bits is call it as a byte 1024 bytes will make 1 kilobyte 1024 kilobyte makes 1 megabyte and 1024 megabytes will make 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabytes will make 1 terabyte 1024 terabyte will make 1 petabyte that is 1024 will denote 2 to the power of 
the units are always arranged from the lower to the highest quantity that is from bits or bytes till the terabyte gigabyte zettabyte etc based on the design efficiency work speed we can classify the computer into four main categories they are mainframe computer mini computer micro computer or personal computer and the super computer mainframe computer mini computer micro or personal computer super computer the personal computers come under micro computer based on the memory and the speed we can classify the computer into the following categories they are desktop laptop and tablet connecting the computers you might have seen a tube light or a fan or other household appliances it has been connected through an electric wire likewise various parts of a computer are linked through connecting cables we call computer as a system as it is connected with one another do you know how these parts are connected yes there are many cables used to connect these parts these cables are called as connecting cables the cables are also found in different sizes each cable has its own specific use let us see different kinds of cables and its uses how it is used to connect the computer types of cables video graphics array vga cable high definition multimedia interface hdmi universal serial bus usb data cable power cord mic cable ethernet cable etc vga cable this cable is used to connect the computer monitor with the cpu a usb cable or a cord devices like printer pen drive scanner mouse keyboard web camera and mobile phone devices these kind of devices are connected with the computer using a usb cord or an cable hdmi cable this hdmi cable is connected with the monitor and the projector with the help of a computer particularly this hdmi cable transmits a high quality and the high bandwidth streams of audio and video data cable particularly the data cable is used to transmits the data and it is used to connect a tablet a mobile phone to the cpu for the data transfer the audio jack the audio jack is used to connect the speaker with the computer to listen the sound and different musics the power cord the power cord plays an important role as it provides the applicants to the main electricity supply mic cable to connect the mic to the cpu a mic wire or a cord is used recordings are done with the help of mic cable 
ethernet the ethernet cable helps to establish the internet connectivity apart from the connecting of wires we have another connections which is called as wireless connection yes the name wireless connection tells us clearly that there is no wire required to connect other devices with the computer bluetooth mouse keyboard can be connected to the computer with the help of bluetooth using the bluetooth we can also transfer the data which can be shared with the nearby devices wifi the net connectivity can be obtained using the wifi without any connecting cables as the data from anywhere can also be shared using the help of wifi